where we're at is in Central Florida on Bear Lake. Good deal, you made it. Hi, I'm John Braviscus. It's great to have you back on the boat. Who we have running the boat is Pat Brown, the owner. And recently on Shipshake TV, we did an entire episode on hard to find marine hardware from your retail side, which is called BoatOutfitters.com, okay? And Pat, what I wanna to do today is I wanna address a couple issues that I have on our 22 foot triple tube press pontoon boat. Okay. The first one is, it's a pretty cool pontoon boat. It has center console. Okay. But we have a cutout in the center console that I've seen other guys with these. They have some type of a starboard louver door. I want to fabricate one of these, and I kind of want to tie in with the color scheme. Mm -hmm. You have different colors, starboard. Absolutely. Right? Cool. Now, I want this to be able to kind of flip down, so if I want to reach into the center console, I can, or completely enclose it, or remove it. Right. But we have another challenge, Dave, on the boat, and I know you work with a lot of the boat builders that make center console style boats, fishing boats. And our center console, you know, we have a cutout that I would like to maybe kind of close off some of the rigging. What do you have? Basically on the website, you can find different access doors. You can buy in any different size. Okay, but on your boat, to take advantage of that, we have a door that folds down, and then the door will lift out to totally get out of your way. You know, I know that we talked a little bit as well about having a toe kick underneath the uh, plate, so that, you know, you can get your feet in there, you know, no problem, your toes aren't scrunched up against the door. I think it'll look great on the boat. My question here is, these, these are solid doors, Dave. If, if, if you notice, these are solid doors. Do you have the capability of maybe making them louvered so you get some additional airflow? Yeah, absolutely. And that's uh, on the drop-down menu on the Boat Outfitters website. You know, you can specify this with or without louvers, and I think that's going to set the door off even nicer. Okay, well, you make so many things for accessorizing boats on that website. Give everybody that one last time. BoatOutfitters.com. So Pat suggested that I order one of these from BoatOutfitters.com. What it is is it's the same color starboard. I believe this is called Seafoam. And uh, he was saying, John, a lot of boaters with center consoles are really dressing up their look by putting in a door kind of like this, okay? Now, um, basically, this center console we got from Marine Surplus. We brought it up here to the camp. You guys made a cutout, mm -hmm. and, and you were going for like style, architectural styling, rather than perfectly square, mm -hmm. and, and I like it. Here's the issue. This frame back here is square perfectly. Right. All right. Fits at the bottom into our openings, 20 inches, but our top's a little bit narrower, isn't right. it? Right. What, what are we going to do to open up some material? Well, I'm going to drill a hole up here in the corner. Right. I'm going to drill another hole over there in that corner, and I'm going to start from zero and come up and take about a half inch off each side. Okay. Now, our tools in the Adirondacks are limited. We don't have big box doors to go by tools and stuff like that. Right. We're, we're kind of going to be messing around here. What, what, what are you going to use? Um, I got a cutoff wheel that I can stick on the grinder. So we got, we'll be able to hack a hole that will look okay. Okay, now on the back side of this door, this louver door, there is a very large reveal. So I think if we do have any sins or any, yeah, you know. We'll cover them right up. Cover them right up, which is really, really cool. Once we do the dry fit, Bert, how it goes in is with some self-tapping screws, okay, going all the way around. And how Pat made this at the factory, okay, is he put in a piano hinge. It also has a stainless steel lockable hatch. And if you want to fold it, you can. If you want to remove it, you can. And I was thinking about putting my Magma Barbecue pan down to that console, Steve, down inside that center console. And if you show everybody what's on the backside coming up here, if you show everything that's on the backside, okay, Pat even sent the key. This is such a first class operation. But right now, guys, we have a little bit of leftover time. So if we could, let's hear from our next guest expert in the marine industry on yet again, some more practical ways to be making your boat, as well as mine, ship shape.